everybody welcome back i hope everybody's doing good today i'm doing great back with more job opportunities for you you already know i'm gonna get straight into the details if you're interested in any of the jobs mentioned in today's video head to that description bar you will find the direct links there let's go ahead and get straight into it Okay, everybody, so we have some pretty good leads today. We have some part-time jobs and some full-time jobs. Let's get straight into this lead from the company Connexus. And with this particular job, you must live in the following states on the screen. If you're not in those states, you will not be able to work with this company. And I really like this lead right here because it's a no experience lead. So, you know, they do prefer experience. All companies will prefer experience, but experience is not required for this particular lead. It's not going to pay much. So this is going to be like an entry level work from home job, you know, if you're just looking to kind of get your foot in the door. And so you will be working from home making 11 to 13 dollars an hour and one thing i really like about this job is they're going to have pto that's going to start on day one okay so getting into some details about this job right here you're going to be answering phones emails and live chats from customers you'll respond to customer inquiries you're going to identify escalate priority issues and report to high level management you're going to follow up on complicated customer interactions where required and record details of customer interactions proficiently and accurately you'll develop rapport with customers with an upbeat and positive attitude and offer solutions and so you will need an excellent customer service attitude the ability to engage and tailor interactions with each customer making their experience exceptional you do need to be friendly be confident and be a self-starter and have strong verbal and written communication also be positive and a quick troubleshooter and so as far as what you need one year of customer service related experience is preferred one year of call center experience is preferred not required you do need basic knowledge of computers be able to type 30 words per minute be able to copy paste and open tabs have excellent grammar punctuation and spelling so let's move on to the next job. And I like this one as well because they do have some pretty, you know, easy working hours. So this job is coming from Medical Service Company. So before you apply for this job, make sure you check out their career section. They do have quite a few jobs available. But today we're going to be talking about the part-time CPAP resupply specialist okay and so with this job right here you're going to be working part-time you'll be working about 24 hours a week and you'll be working between the hours of 9 a.m to 4 p.m and so with this one right here they do have pay active so you will have a chance to you know have access to your pay before you actually get paid and so you'll be handling inbound and outbound patient calls utilizing listening skills to ensure patients needs and concerns regarding their equipment or services are addressed you're going to ensure that all requests are handled accurately and efficiently you're going to promote the msc refresh program by educating patients on the importance of changing out supplies on the clinically suggested and insurance approved schedules you will adhere to key performance metrics so you should be converting 25 to 30 percent of inbound calls into sales orders and revenue 15 to 20 total orders per day you're going to be responsible for meeting metric standards set by PAP resupply manager to ensure success. And you're going to identify products that may benefit the patient while providing additional information about the equipment. You also need to understand insurance guidelines and coverage limits regarding CPAP resupply and promote electronic ordering platforms such as rapid reorder and auto ship. You also need to understand company enterprise system necessary to enter orders and research patient inquiries and status updates for new equipment. They want you to be a graduate of an accredited high school and have a minimum of two years of progressively responsible customer service or inside sales experience. They also want you to be responsible for maintaining the highest level of customer care while always acting in a professional and courteous manner. You will encourage, promote, and maintain strong customer relationships through a partnered approach with external and internal team members and have excellent oral active listening and written communication skills, have a pleasant personality with excellent phone skills and be a team player and have a high drive to meet or exceed daily performance metrics also be a problem solver and with this job right here the starting pay is no less than $17 an hour so the next job is coming from YNAB and they're looking for a seasonal customer support specialist to work part-time and so with this particular job you can only be in the states on the screen to work with this company. If you're not in those states, 
you will not be able to work with this company. You do need to get your application in by September 22nd. And so getting into more details with this job right here, it's a temporary part-time job. You're gonna be working 23 to 29 hours per week. You'll make $20 an hour. It's gonna start October 28th and end March of 2025. There is a possibility of being hired permanently as a support specialist at the end of the temporary period. So with this job right here, you will need to have a willingness to use and learn YNAB, excellent written English, be available to work the 23 to 29 hours per week. Also, weekly hours split across four to eight hour shifts for four to five days per week, including working at least one Saturday or Sunday each week. You will need to have a reliable laptop or computer that you can use for YNAB work. A tablet or Chromebook won't quite cut it for some of the programs that they use. They want you to be digitally fluent, which means you're comfortable learning and navigating multiple programs at once and they want you to be confident and independent. Also enjoy trying new things. Also someone that doesn't mind answering the same type of question from customers many times. Also a knack for swift transitions, switching between topics with grace. So they give you a lot of information regarding this position. They also let you know what a typical day would be like working for this company. So definitely check that out. And so you will need to provide your resume, also answers to a few factual questions, and you will need to answer the four questions that they have there. The next job is coming from Herzing University, and they're looking for a transfer credit specialist. And so with this job right here, you'll be working Monday through Friday. A bachelor's degree is required. Two years of related work experience is preferred. And so with this job right here, you'll work with other administrative offices on student schedules and academic policy questions. You'll adhere to FERPA and other related regulatory requirements. You'll provide excellent customer service to students, staff, faculty, and third parties, and participate in administrative meetings and committees as assigned. You'll maintain accurate transfer equivalencies in the transfer evaluation system and apply approved credits to the student record in the campus nexus system. You'll stay informed on curriculum changes and update transfer credit evaluation forms accordingly, and you will have other administrative tasks as well. The next job is coming from the company Koya Medical, and they're looking for an appeal specialist to work full time. And so with this job right here, you'll draft persuasive letters of appeal to third party payers to ensure maximum reimbursement potential, utilizing patient clinical documents you do need to be able to confidently educate health plan decision makers that include medical directors, administrative law judges, health plan legal representatives regarding operation and use, features, and benefits of company products. You will review clinical documentation and develop appeal strategies based on payer, strength of case, and potential for approval, and provide advocacy and support to patients who are denied insurance coverage or for products. You do need to have the ability to engage patients when needed to assist in the appeal process and identify payer trends, establishing specific payer strategies to obtain coverage. You'll maintain a high level of accuracy while meeting productivity and quality requirements requirements and work with other departments to ensure accurate processing of patient orders and payer approvals and denials. You'll identify trends for process improvement and communicate to leadership and assist in the development of internal processes and best practices for the payer operations department. You will be responsible for benefit and authorization process investigations. And so you will need a bachelor's degree or equivalent work experience, previous experience in the medical device industry, payer appeals, administrative law judge hearings, clinical record review or related field, experience with Google Suite, Adobe, Salesforce, CRMs. And with this particular job, I am not aware of the pay. If I do find the pay during editing, you will see it on the screen right now. Okay, everybody, those are all the jobs that I have for you today. Like I said before, check that description bar for the direct links. You guys know that I appreciate you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Good luck to everyone who applies for the jobs.